there are those who say all sorts, you know, like, oh, there's an attempt to Islamize the country, you know. And I want to say with respect that that's not, that is, it is impossible, completely impossible. And I will tell you that it is impossible because I do not even know how anyone can even, uh, even try that. If you remember, I don't know how many of you remember, that in 2001, 12 states of Nigeria declared Sharia. 12 states. 12 states of Nigeria. 12 northern states declared Sharia. In other words, as you know, under our constitution, since 1979, our constitution allowed uh, Sharia in the civil law. In other words, personal law between Muslims. So for inheritance, for marriage, etc., Sharia, the practice of Sharia amongst Muslims was allowed. But in 2001, what happened in 2001 is that 12 of our states actually declared Sharia, which meant that they were operating under the Sharia legal system, both criminal and civil. Contrary to the Nigerian constitution in every way, completely contrary to the Nigerian constitution. In fact, a gross violation of the Nigerian constitution. But nothing happened, right? Because, well, I mean, at the time, nobody shouted Islamization. Why? Well, the president at least was a Christian, so he wasn't under any real suspicion. But can you imagine if that happened now? No, can you imagine if that happened now? If 12 states, even if one state declared Sharia now, uh, I mean, obviously, it would be a completely different ball game. The truth of the matter is that I think that we have within, I think we have within our system the capacity, even within our, uh, even currently within our legal system, the capacity to resist any such thing, even if that were planned or if that were a notion that anybody wanted to foist upon Nigeria.